Hello, I'm Conrad Kaspari, the son of Fritz Kaspari, who was uh, detained in Tuna Canyon it, between September 1942 and February, uh, January 1943. And uh, I just wanted to say something about how I got, I'm, I'm at Frankfurt Airport talking to Siegfried Toy. And uh, I'm delighted to be talking about this and I wanted to say something about how I got interested in this subject. It was really triggered by the fact that last year I was going through some of my father's papers and I discovered this file which I'd never seen before, which was uh, covered in mold. And it had lots of pictures and documents, original documents from the time of my father's internment, uh, both in Terminal Island before Tuna Canyon and then from Tuna Canyon. And so that was a big surprise. My father had not really talked a lot about his experience in uh, in in the states at that time. He had uh, he had only had a couple of stories. He said he'd become responsible for the commissariat in Tuna Canyon because there was a lot of conflict about food because everybody was very unhappy about the food they were getting. And so he managed to talk to the commandant and somehow get involved in the supply of the food to the camp, to the different uh, nationalities uh, who were in prison there and uh, interned there. And so things became a bit more peaceful as a consequence. The other thing, humorous story he told about it was that he uh, remembered a lot of very ancient Italian men who, uh, who played boccia, uh, who had arrived in the States in the 1880s, 1890s. They couldn't remember which boat they came on. They didn't have passports. They kept their Italian nationality. And the, th the thing which my father thought was uh, rather ironic was that they uh, had visits from their sons who were all like lieutenants or sergeants or whatever they were in the, in the US armed forces. So that was a bit of a, he thought that was a bit uh, funny really in a way. Anyway, I didn't think that much about the, that experience until I found the uh, file my father had in his archives and uh, that prompted me to get in touch with uh, I sent a picture of uh, the arrest of my father and a lot of Japanese and uh, and some Germans as well on December 10th in the Los Angeles Times and I thought this was so amazing it just an original cutting from the newspaper I sent it to my sisters as well as a couple of other documents and one of my sisters uh, wrote back to me and said you might be interested in this website which happened to be the Tuna Canyon website and on that website there is a, uh, a link, a contact point so I decided to get in touch and I wrote to Nancy Oda and uh, said would she be interested in some material I had and she said yes um, and then she put me in touch with Russ Endo who happened to be going to the archive in National Archives in DC in Washington and uh, so it worked very well and uh, so amazingly I'm now together with Sigrid here in, in uh, in Frankfurt and talking about this experience and uh, I think uh, it fits in very well with my own interest in my father's longer history. I think I was always, um, I think I always had the impression about his internment in the US that it was a big shock to him because he had you know, he'd left Germany, he was very strongly anti what was happening in Germany at the time, he, he, he unusually, rather unusually I think realized that it was a very bad thing from the very beginning and so I think he was a bit uh, shocked when he was arrested the first time after Pearl Harbor that in a way something not too dissimilar to what was happening in Germany 
was happening to him in the States. So I think that was always the impression I had, although he never stated that explicitly. <laughs> Stop for the moment.